I'm Joe Smith Englart, and here's your entertainment news for the day. A coroner has confirmed singer George Michael died of natural causes from heart disease and a fatty liver. The singer died at his home in England on December 25th at age 53. The initial autopsy was inconclusive, leaving his family and fans wondering what caused his death. The coroner said no inquest will be made because there is a natural cause of, to the death. Michael's family has requested the media and public respect their privacy at this time. Model and lip sync battle host Chrissy Teigen revealed she has been struggling with postpartum depression for the last year. Teigen wrote an essay on her experience for Glamour magazine explaining she had a difficult time returning to work after her and husband John Legend had a child. She says she is currently taking an antidepressant for her depression and anxiety as well as attending therapy. In the article, Tegan wrote, quote, I just don't think it could happen to me. I have a great life. I have all the help I can need. John, my mother, who lives with us, a nanny, but postpartum does not discriminate. Oscar-winning actor Casey Affleck will be lending his voice to a protest meant to bring attention to the mistreatment of bears. Animal rights group PETA are bringing a seven-foot-tall animatronic bear voiced by Affleck to the Agriculture Department in Washington on Tuesday. The protest aims to bring awareness to the exploitation of bears in zoos and the circus industry. PETA has been touring the bear they named Bernard around the U.S. at zoos and traveling circuses to show why their conditions are unbearable. After a push to have the movie banned, Rush will be rating Disney's live-action Beauty and the Beast remake 16+. The film is the first Disney movie to feature an openly gay character. Actor Josh Gad plays the part of LeFou, who is attracted to the movie's main villain, Gaston. Culture Minister Vladimir Medinsky has faced pressure from the public to assess whether the film violates a law prohibiting children from viewing material that goes against what they consider traditional family values. The movie also sparked outrage from a drive-in theater in Alabama who said they would only show family-oriented films so its customers were, quote, free to come watch wholesome movies without worrying about sex, nudity, homosexuality, and foul language. The film, which stars Emma Watson and Dan Stevens, is set for release on March 17th and is expected to do exceptionally well at the box office despite the ongoing controversy. After an unsuccessful meeting with Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner, Chance the Rapper is donating $1 million to public schools in Chicago. Chance met with Rauner to discuss public school funding after the governor vetoed a bill that would give $215 million in pension relief to schools. He said the governor gave him vague answers and wouldn't commit to the funding. The rapper's donation has garnered a lot of attention, prompting Michelle Obama to tweet her support saying, you are an example of the power of arts ed education. Chance says the, no the donation money will mostly come from ticket sales for his upcoming US tour and thanked his fans for making it possible. In other music news, DJ Khaled has announced his next key to success is going to be a four day music festival cruise. The Summerfest cruise will feature Khalid, as well as fellow musicians Migos, Future, ASAP Rocky, and Lil Wayne. The cruise takes off on June 30th, leaving the port of Miami, Florida, and will make stops in Nassau and the Great Stir of K in the Bahamas before returning to the U.S. Tickets will run between $721 and $1,279 and are on sale now. And that's all for entertainment today. Thanks for watching.